Ole Gunnar Solskjaer walked out to a rapturous reception at Old Trafford as manager for the first time after vowing to repay the faith from Manchester United supporters. The interim boss was afforded a rousing welcome as he made his way out of the tunnel ahead of the Boxing Day clash against Huddersfield Town. Solskjaer, unable to contain his smile, strode to the dugout with purpose as his name rang around all four sides of the theatre of dreams. Ninety minutes later, United fans had more to smile about after their side ran out 3-1 winners to maintain Solskjaer's 100% start to life in the hot seat. The famous 20 LEG and the banner has been restored, hanging in one corner of the Stratford end, as excitement filled United once again. Solskjaer saluted that end as he emerged, hugging Fred the Red, and moved to dedicate much of his program notes to the club's fans. I feel like I have come home. From the moment I found out I was doing this role, today is the day I really couldn't wait for," the Norwegian wrote in United Review. To walk out at Old Trafford means so much to me, and I want to thank you all for making me feel so welcome. Walking into the training ground on that first day was quite something, to see all the staff, many of whom I knew, was something special. Our supporters have been incredible. This is how I remember the fans from my previous time at the club, home and away, the players are always able to count on your backing. It is time for that faith and support to be repaid. Solskjaer told the club's fan base that his main goal is to see United play a more expansive brand of football after his debut ended in the crushing 5-1 demolition of Cardiff City. I am under no illusions as to the scale of the job ahead," he added. We all have a lot of work to do in order to get this club back towards where it should be. We have to remind people what Manchester United is all about. We have to show everybody who we really are. This is a club built on entertainment and excitement, on giving young players the opportunity to express themselves. These players have shown they have that never say die spirit. How Ole's Old Trafford return unfolded four mins, Solskjaer had started sitting nestled between Mike Phelan and Michael Carrick in the dugout, but was up on the touchline directing traffic. His main focus was to talk Diogo Dalla through exactly what was required from a positional sense, with the manager demanding his full back stay higher up the pitch when United boasted possession. Nine men's gesticulated at Phelan that he wanted the ball moved with more urgency in midfield. The Norwegian gave a fair bit away with his body language, flinching involuntarily when the ball was conceded cheaply or an attack broke down. Eighteen minutes after settling in his chair and with United yet to break Huddersfield down, Solskjaer was back out on the grass. Paid more attention to Juan Mata, offering a number of pointers to the Spaniard while projecting where he must move off the right.
23 mins, no histrionics when Marcus Rashford was mercilessly sipped down by Elias Kachunga and instead opted for a quiet word with assistant referee Stuart Burt. Twenty-nine mins, up and jubilant, punched the air as Nemanja Matic broke the deadlock. There were hugs for Carrick, Kieran McKenna and Emilio Alvarez. Jogged down to celebrate with Phelan, who had been bellowing orders from the technical area. Fifty Mins had already seen enough after the break and immediately called for Ander Herrera and Ashley Young. Both were briefed by Carrick and McKenna before Solskjaer offered a jolt of encouragement just before they entered. Sixty-four mins, relief etched across Solskjaer's face as Paul Pogba swept in a second. An outpouring of emotion on the bench, where he remained for the majority of the second half, included what appeared to be a congratulatory nudge from McKenna following the move. Big thumbs up to the crowd afterwards.78 mins, down on the touchline, to manage the latter stages only to then witness Pogba's stunner. Another punch of the air, this time towards the director's box. Soon gave Angel Gomez a run out for Mata, who was then entwined with Solskjaer until the pair reached their seats. Eighty-five minutes, asked for a wave by the Stratford and then obliged. Job done for Solskjaer, even if Huddersfield scored a consolation late on.